What's up everyone, my name is Jodhpit and welcome to the review of Fedora 25. Be sure to hit that thumbs button and let's jump into it. Okay, so let's get started with the review. I have a few points marked out and I'm just going to begin with what's new in Fedora 25 and this is currently workstation is what I'm running. So the first thing and this is a Fedora magazine article that I'm going to link to in the description. The first thing is Genome 3.22 which is bringing a lot of new things like multiple file renaming and variable speed playback and the software app has been updated and a lot more changes have been introduced. The second new thing is VLAN display server and it has now replaced the old X11 display server and it's said to be more smoother and richer than the older one. Next is Fedora Media Writer, MP3 decoding support, flat pack support and extensions don't expire. Okay, so that was all that was new to it and there will also be an article uh, on how you can upgrade the system from Fedora 24. And with all that, uh, let's just jump into it. The next thing I want to talk about is design. As you can see, the design is really smooth uh, thanks to Genome 3.22 that these are using and you can see the smooth scrolling and everything is there apps are shown by default and you can see different apps that have been installed right here utilities sundry which is just two things actually utilities and I'm currently running live so I have all these LibreOffice apps as well with me which is really cool to say the least okay the next thing I'm going to talk about is hardware integration and as I said before, uh, Fedora is, has Fedora or actually Linux in general has become better in hardware support. As you can see, anything you can play, plug in directly works. I have a 3G router that works directly. I have a mouse, Bluetooth mouse. Those are running without a hitch. CD, DVD does. And you know the best thing that has come in recent times is actually the introduction of driver support for various graphics cards. So. Uh, I recently got a new graphics card so there are no issues so far with running the graphics card as the drivers have been coming out and they've been coming out on time and there are no delays and they are updated for the latest distro I'm running. It's actually a really cool thing to say and I guess this is a really good benchmark that Linux in general has achieved in the past few years and I guess that's the same thing to applaud them for. Okay and then the second thing is talking about the software and since we are on the subject of to uh, software as usual Fedora is running a re fairly recent version of the Linux kernel which is as good as it gets because Fedora has been known for like cutting edge updates and getting the things first and without any hitch so that's been really a good point for it compared to like Ubuntu or Debian or Mint these guys have been putting the updates pretty much faster than those and I think that's a really cool thing because some people I know I know a few people who are like really interested in like getting the latest software and getting them first and they are kind of the fiddly people who like to change things around and do what they like and change everything that's around it and get it to their configuration like a uh, few people would like less resources consumption and few people would be like really cool graphics and more software like GCC developers are into so that sort of thing and that's where it's good and aside from that uh, latest software and obviously the app support is gaining really good popularity it's not as good as Ubuntu though because Ubuntu is like more mainstream so developers when they think of Linux it's more like okay there's Linux and in inside Linux there's like Fedora and Ubuntu but Ubuntu is what they target first because it has like a larger base so I think that's why Fedora is a little backwards in terms of how much software gets released on it and that's not necessarily a bad thing because the things that do get released are actually not at all bad and they work just fine and if you are a little less more on the tech side and you can run the things from source code which is actually really decent you are in for a treat I guess and that's about it for the software and 
covering all that i guess the uh, i'm just going to talk about what are the good things that i found in this distro now since i am running live i actually am really impressed with the performance because earlier times these live distros used to lag a little bit in terms of networking and like folder support and file support and app support but recently they have become really better and fedora is like a really good benchmark for it because you can see there is no lag whatsoever and everything is running smooth and there are notifications which came back in fedora 22 i reviewed that as well and the icons are clean and those are the things that it really nails and there is no problem th and i suppose that is mainly because of genome coming in and a lot of stuff comes from there like the software app is supported and then the software app is really what is always helping and ubuntu is always also switching from its original software center and changing towards genome and other stuff so i guess this is a really cool thing that will help unify linux distros and software ability in general in the future and that convergence is pretty cool because that is one of the main points linux was lacking so it was like there is an app for windows and like windows is one thing and then there is linux and linux then you got mint you've got ubuntu you've got debian you've got fedora you've got elementary you've got n number of other distros so building for each of them is actually really difficult and if you can think about it and like a software center or something like that can integrate them then that would be really amazing like that could help bring a lot of combined software support which can help you know like other developers should build things without like building everything for different distros so that's really cool to look forward to in the future and i'm really happy for that and what's bad like there's not much to complain but like my only complaint would be that there is less software available for fedora in general compared to other distros like ubuntu and like i said before although the genome software app is helping a lot and stuff that, like that is going around but it's still somewhat lacking behind and my uh, <laughs> i don't know how when will this go away but like if i go to the terminal and i search for anything and then it just like updates everything before and then it searches for that stuff what i'm looking for which is not likely the case in other distros i've seen like when do this not like that so if i go for searching vlc it will first update all the softwares and update the system to some extent and then it will go and search and fetch for something else so that yep yeah, and like i reviewed fedora 22 before it was still that a problem and that has become better no doubt but it's still somewhat there and i am really hoping that these guys will fix it because i'm really beginning to like fedora right here and yeah that's it that's about what i was thinking was lagging and i guess can use some improvement those developers out there are really cool and i don't know how many thousands of people who are contributing code like on a daily basis that's like just mind blowing this is like a really cool software okay and that was about it i hope red hat sees this and <laughs> who am i kidding red hat sponsored project fedora 25 review is this is what it was all about uh now on an ending note i want to like uh show this to you guys this like unix stickers if you like hoodies or stickers or cups or any cool merchandise related to distros or even programming stuff in general it's not like just linux like android or 1.1 and there are memes and if you would like to buy some of this i have a link in the description you guys can go and buy from that link and you will get a discount be sure to check these guys out they're really awesome so yeah this was my review for fedora 25 be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and comment what you think was lacking in my review because i'm looking to improve and what are the distros you want me to review and that's about it i think so okay and i'm just going to end it there bye